Jack O'Sullivan from Vital Fixies. Welcome to Irish Startup TV. Thanks very much for having me. So we have a fixie here, which gives some sense of what you're about. But would you like to tell us a little bit about what the business is? Yeah, so basically like we just have a brand of fixed gear bikes. Um, at the moment we've got six different models. So they're just really simple, straightforward bikes that are cheap, easy to maintain, and you know, they come in some pretty stylish colors. Very good. So, are you manufacturing and designing yourself? Um, we have a fact. We design them all ourselves, but we have a factory over in Taiwan, just so we can keep the prices low. Okay. Because it doesn't really work if you're trying to manufacture bikes in Ireland. It's just too expensive. Really? Yeah. So we teamed up with a pretty big manufacturer over in Taiwan, and they're able to do everything to like a really good quality. And Fantastic. So tell us a little bit about the background of the business. You started off when you were in secondary school. Yeah. Uh, basically, I think I came up with the idea when I was sixteen or seventeen. Um, I basically wanted a fixie and they were pretty expensive at all the bike shops so I said I got in contact with a couple of manufacturers over in China and Taiwan and you know I got the saw what prices they could do and how it would work and then I pitched the idea to my brother and my dad so I ended up selling them 50% of the equity in the business to fund the initial order of 165 bikes and we were chatting about this earlier, I said you took a bit of a bath in the equity, but to be fair, uh, as a young guy getting going, you know, it it's probably wasn't such a bad idea to uh, take the opportunity to have your brother and your father involved. Yeah, like I definitely didn't have any money myself and I needed the advice from them and yeah, like I think, I think everyone's happy enough with how it worked out. That's it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so how did you manage in school running a business? Was that a challenge to balance the school work and the business work? Yeah, so it was... So it basically ended up with me spending a lot of time at the back of the class answering emails and you know talking and sending emails to the different manufacturers over in China and you know. So your teacher I love that there's Jack making his first million down the back of the classroom. What are you doing? <laughs> I got in trouble a couple of times. Did but, you? Oh yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> oh well just like well there's a lot of get off your phone and then a phone yeah. got taken off me once and obviously. Really? I kind of needed my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's how I, that's how I do most of my business. Yeah. But and did they? Did you ever try and talk to them? Did they? When when you kind of explain what you were doing, did they? Did their reaction change at all? Um, not really. I guess their point of view is that they're running the school. Yeah, yeah. And that they can't change the rules for me just because you know I'm doing something on the side. But your point was you're running a global business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. But you're in college now and you're in first year of IDT. Yeah. So how is that? Is it any easier to run a business uh, being a university student? Yeah, definitely. There's less hours and like, the fact that I'm sort of allowed on my phone in class is better. And the lectures, like, they're great. You know, they've, and the people who run the Enterprise Society, like they're always sending me different things on different talks that are on and, you know, linking me up with other people who can help me out. So. so what kind of tangible outputs are you getting from the college um, on the academic side firstly? Um, like is, are there any subjects that you're studying like accountancy that are introducing you to areas of taxation or did you have to learn all of this stuff yourself outside of the classroom? Yeah I would have had to learn it all myself like forming the company and like even though like my parents have both been running their own companies for 30 odd years, it's still been so long since they've registered a company, so I just kind of have to go in and figure that out myself. Same with the tax, like, my brother has studied business, so I could get a bit of help from him, but he's never really practiced, like, actually, like, doing financial accounts and stuff like that. Yeah, there are a lot of online resources, but it's interesting to, to better understand as well what kind of link up there is with the university, because you mentioned the Entrepreneur Society. What kind of um, soft skills are you learning or what kind of outputs are you getting from those events? Yeah, so I guess my attendance probably isn't the best in college, I'm okay. <laughs> being honest. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's the girl Alice, she just she just sent me stuff on Facebook. She's like, And she's she's the president, is it of the yeah. Hello Alice if you're watching? <laughs> yeah, that ah, she's great to me. Yeah, she, like she'd always just be like, there's a talk on in Google at two o'clock, you should go. And I always think there's loads of people from college going, so I'm like, grand. Yeah, yeah. I show up, I'll be the only one there. But uh, <laughs> yeah, 
It's fine. And what kind of events? Is there any standout event that you would attend on a regular basis or any events that you recommend that you've attended before if they come up again, either at Google or elsewhere? Um, well, the startup grind, which I was at last week, it was actually my first time, but that was good. Like, you get to meet a lot of people. Yeah, so Patricia, good. she had an incredible story around the law. Yeah, that was pretty interesting because I sort of studied law in UCD. Okay. Unofficially. Oh, really? Say this okay. Yeah. You're like Steve Jobs, you kind of sneak in. Yeah, that's oh, it. Brilliant. Do, uh, have you heard of heard, have you heard of Coursera? No. I, I don't know if I pronounce it Coursera or Coursera, but it's C-O-U-R-S-E-R-A. Yeah. And it's an opportunity to learn from any school in the world that has these MOOCs, the online learning videos. Yeah, I kind of did some of them at MIT. Okay, yeah. super. I kind of prefer going to class because, like, especially for law, it yeah, yeah. can be kind of like hard to understand it if you're reading it, but like, Absolutely. the lectures there are really good. So. Yeah. I, yeah, enjoy so that. Where to next with the business? I kind of have a feeling that this is probably only going to be the first thing of many. Yeah, I know we're designing some new bikes at the moment, not fixies. Okay. Um, we're going to do some like pretty new stuff that no one else is doing at the moment. Very cool. And the bike space? Yeah, it's okay. bikes, but it's so we're moving into custom bikes. Okay, brilliant. So we will be doing custom fixies. Okay. But like there's more stuff apart from that that. You know, we're just kind of going through the design phases and heading over to China or China in January okay. to go see some of the factories. And, and you've, you mentioned already the, the 50% equity. Is there, you know, are you going to need to raise more money going forward or because you're now a little bit more established, are you finding it easier to do pre-orders and pre-sales? Yeah, like I think, I think we should be all right. Um, like just before these bikes came in, we did some pre-sales and they were pretty good, like because I guess we ran out of stock for like probably two months during the summer. Right. Okay, so next <laughs> we should probably go and uh, and take the bike for a spin. Yeah, fair enough. So um, tell us how can we get in touch? If people want to purchase the bike? Yeah, so we just basically sell directly through vitalfixies.com. Um, yeah, and you can order your bike today, and it'll be shipped off tomorrow. And, you know, you probably get it in two days. Fantastic. Good, because everything's kept in stock in Dublin. Fantastic. And you know, so that's great value fixies. Yeah, that's it. And like customer service is top notch. You know, Fantastic. get back to you within 20 minutes probably. Brilliant. Well, Jack, it's been great meeting you today. And I look forward to seeing even better things coming in the future. Yeah, thanks a million.